My name is Dr. Daphne Sussman, and I'm an assistant professor in biomedical engineering. Uh, my background training is in engineering science, biophysics, diagnostic imaging, and fetal development. For an interesting fact about myself, I completed my PhD in three and a half years uh, instead of the departmental average, which was five to six years. Biomedical engineering for me is the combination of engineering principles with sciences to study, design, uh, develop, and evaluate uh, biological and medical systems and products. So this includes, for example, developing medical imaging technologies and machine learning algorithms to analyze medical images. Biomedical engineering includes areas such as medical imaging, image analysis using artificial intelligence or AI, uh, bioinstrumentation, telehealth, rehabilitation engineering, tissue engineering, uh, biomaterial engineering, and those are just a few that come to mind. <laughs> Biomedical engineering touches on all aspects of human life and everyday life, directly or indirectly. Uh, as you alluded to that in your question. Uh, one example is food. Uh, biomedical engineering is used for genetically engineering fruits and vegetables, for creating packaging, uh, packaging materials that are safe when they come in contact with food, um, and for understanding the health and physiological significance of a variety of foods. Uh, finally, I can also think of uh, another application where um, biomedical engineering is used for creating sensors that analyze the composition of food and ensure the safety of food, uh, or even for extracting uh, nutrients um, for pharmaceutical purposes. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is biomedical ethics or bioethics, which is the ethical issues arising from the development or use of new technologies to facilitate diagnosis uh, and improve one's health or provide treatment. So these lead to um, often gray areas for some societies and often some religions. Yes, uh, so AI can allow us to analyze medical images rapidly, accurately and consistently, providing a first pass screening uh, that enables clinicians to optimize their workflow and to prioritize cases. So AI can also be used to predict disease progression and clinical outcomes, providing opportunities for early intervention that prevent catastrophic outcomes. So for example, we created a tool for clinicians that allows them to predict the risk of an adverse pregnancy outcome um, in uh, pregnant patients with COVID-19. So this AI tool uh, can then be used to decide whether to hospitalize the individual or monitor them and monitor them closely versus to send them home and monitor them remotely. Not only can this improve patient outcomes, but it can also optimize the use of our hospital's intensive care units. So the research work at the Maternal Fetal Imaging Lab covers all areas of maternal fetal diagnostics. So from MRI phantom and sequence development to image processing using AI, all through to clinical applications. So we are developing ways to image uh, glucose metabolism within the fetus and the placenta. We also have uh, several software packages that automatically calculate biometric parameters, uh, such as volume, uh, growth, uh, weight, and so on. And, um, and other, and other software packages that uh, diagnose maternal, fetal, and placental abnormalities and tools for predicting pregnancy outcome. I've been particularly interested in biomaterial synthesis and the development of novel techniques for creating materials that simulate the imaging properties of human tissue. So being able to create or engineer materials that have similar characteristics uh, to those of human tissue would allow us to expedite development, testing, and clinical application or clinical translation of new imaging modalities uh, because we'll be able to use phantoms instead of human volunteers for all of those stages of development. My advice for first-year students is uh, 
that you develop a good foundation in math and science, read about recent discoveries and developments in the field, and even challenges in medicine in order to find uh, what interests you and what excites you. Now, if you follow your passion, you'll be able to develop uh, a biomedical engineer career that is uh, also satisfying and gratifying.